Going over my camping gear today, what I'm taking out to the cabbage patch. So you guys stick with me. I'm gonna show you the details. Well, this is it. This is my camping gear. So inside this bag, as you can see here, is everything that I need to go camping with. Uh, it's got my basics plus some extras. Uh, it's the tent, it's the sleeping bag, air mattress. Uh, it is my cook kit, which is just enough to boil water for those uh, instant meals where you said boiling water to it. Uh, but I also have a table in here, my camp table that matches this camp chair that I have. And the camp chair is not a small pack item by no means. Uh, you can see it here. Uh, and it packs up decently large, but it's something that for me is a luxury item that I try to take on most of my camping trips. Most comfortable chair that I have found for me is something that's really easy to relax after a long day of walking around uh, Daytona Beach. I'm gonna be exhausted. This is gonna be great to have. We're about to explode all of this. Here we are, camp set up, everything I need. This right here is my camp table. I got this at March Moto Madness, like second or third one that they ever done. Got she came out. It was a, um, a test piece. He was just getting rid of some of them made by uh, the same company that does the Kermit chairs. Uh, just in case I have a hatchet, uh, that's for dispersed camping when I'm out on the road. Uh, Filet knife for doing that. This is a Trangia stove. Uh, some places don't like for you to use wood and that kind of stuff. Uh, uh, this is a Trangia. Inside here is my cook kit. So uh, I got an AeroPress. I just like, like the way it does coffee. Uh, I have a coffee cup that this just nests into. Uh, then I have my firebox stove there. Uh, for using kindling, for using the Trangia. Uh, if I want to just simmer something, the Trangia works really nice. Uh, and then this has got a stove in it, my flint lighter, uh, and it's what I use, it's titanium. It's what I use to boil water in the gas containers inside. And then I always carry this, which is just uh, a cheat sheet on doing different knots and stuff that I might need to do uh, on the road. This is my air mattress. This is the tent. My camp pillow, which you can uh, unzip and uh, put clothes or something in, but it's just packs down really small. It's memory foam. I really enjoy it. It's great for the hammock. It's a perfect pillow for the hammock without having to put anything in it. Uh, this is my 30 degree sleeping bag, which is actually just a 30 degree uh, blanket top quilt if you're using terminology from uh, hammock camping. This is a picnic cloth that you'd buy at Walmart or something. It's pretty heavy. It doesn't really pack super small, but it's flat. So uh, I always use this in front of my tent, sit my shoes on, that kind of stuff. That way I don't track in dirt or dust uh, into the tent. And then the bag that it all goes in if you're just going to tie it in the back seat. So let's explode this. This is typically the way I would set up the tent and such at any camp. Now, this is the first time I've ever set this up. So you watch the video, we'll run through it real quick. Had some trouble getting one of the peaks connected and then one of the toggles. Uh, my old fingers fumble a lot more than they used to. All total, it took seven minutes for me to get it set up first time to ever put the thing together. So really wasn't that bad. You can see you got the tiles on the back, all the ones on the bottom of which I don't have tied down because obviously I'm on concrete. 
in here, but you can see what this looks like tied down. Pretty decent area, the vest of you. Uh, try to keep things organized. My knife and my hatchet under the table. Uh, and then inside here, you can see the sleep and go mat. Uh, one of the cottage manufacturers did the uh, top quilt there that I like to use. And then this even come with a gear loft up here up top. So you can see that you can throw uh, items up there to keep them out of your way if you would like. There's a little bit on the uh, stoves. This is my trangia. These will turn here in and out based on the size pot that you want to use. And you can see firebox is pretty ingenious right here. They've got these grooves in that allows you to uh, set that up at a perfect angle. And then once something's on them, they don't move on you. Uh, and the wind block that comes with it. So if I wanted to take my pot, move it over here, cause I didn't want the heat uh, like you get with this little $15 stove, whatever it is nowadays, $10. Uh, you can, I try to carry both because if I can cook with wood, uh, I like to do that. I like the smell of, of wood burning around me if I don't have a fire pit or if I'm in some place where they don't want me to do that. Uh, if I'm really packed for space, I will just carry one set up and that typically uh, would be to set up here. Um, this one, I don't have to worry about fuel so much as long as I can get the twigs and the like uh, or carry some alcohol to burn in that. And then you can see how this works just out front. Makes it easy. So overall, there's the camp set up uh, and everything that was in that bag is now exploded out here. Well, you guys get to see my Camp set up, honestly, this is a pretty economical setup. Uh, there's not been a lot of money spent on the majority of the items here. Nature Hike tent, uh, it's inexpensive for what you get. Uh, I, think I, I think I paid $150 for it. It's a complete tent though. I mean, there's no accessories to buy after you buy the tent uh, on items that you should have with the tent. For an example, it comes with a footprint. Uh, it comes with the gear loft that I show you guys. Uh, it's a complete kit tent. Uh, looks good. All the reviews say that it's really waterproof. So uh, I expect it to be, but we will find out because Daytona, it always rains. So you've got at least one day of rain in Daytona. So we'll see how that works. Hey, speaking of Daytona, rain and camping, I'm going to be at the Cabbage Patch. Uh, there's that campground right next door to it. So if you guys get out and about, uh, I'll be out there and I'll be on the motor goozy. So if you see my goozy close to the tent, then you know I'm in the campsite. Uh, look me up. I'll more than likely have a welder's hat on like I've got today. So it should be easy to find. Uh, sleep and go air mattress in there. It's a cheap air mattress. Is it the best? No, it's not the best. Uh, does it work? Absolutely, it works. Uh, I've used it uh, camping several times, been up in Colorado. Uh, with some camping and uh, it works out great for me. That's the Econo Burrow. Uh, you can look it up if you'd like. Uh, top quilt. Uh, it works Works pretty good. It works well. It's rated at 30 degrees. Don't trust that. Uh, it's not a 30 degree bag, uh, but it works good in, into the mid 40s or so, which it shouldn't, shouldn't be getting much colder or any colder than that. In Daytona, I think new they're $140. This one I bought used online for like $60, $70. Uh, a couple of bucks for this uh, picnic tablecloth that I've got here that works. Uh, this little stove, like I said, $10. The firebox, it's kind of expensive. Uh, upper end, it's just stupid videos, man. They just made me want one. So yeah, I've got a firebox, but I really enjoy it. And I love putting it together. The other ones I had that were similar, uh, it took so much time to, to put them together uh, and fiddle with all the parts. This one just folds out, basically, and it's set up. Um, it's really good to go. T 
table. This is a high-end piece, this chair, very expensive chair. Uh, I bought them many, many years ago. I bought this in 2011. I bought uh, this one somewhere around 2002, three time frame. Uh, and these are high-end pieces as far as price goes. But the rest of this stuff's economical. Uh, this little cup, if you decided you wanted one of these, uh, and it's nice to boil water in or cook in or to put soap in and eat out of, that type of thing. It's a few dollars at Walmart. Ozark Trail type uh, stuff, although this one I don't even think it's got a name on it. So it doesn't take a ton of money to go camping. I mean, part of the camping is being outside and enjoying the outdoors. I'm not going to do that across from the cabbage patch because that's going to be chaos over there. Uh, but most of my camping is just first camping and I love doing the outdoor thing. So that's part of it. Another thing about camping though is uh, it's economical. If you do your research and you can buy good products cheap and do your research on camping because you can find inexpensive places to camp. Since COVID, everything's like outrageous. I mean, there are no more $60 motels that are just readily available. And sometimes I'd look out and buy $45 motel rooms whenever I was traveling. Uh, those days are gone. And we're in where the average price now is running $120 for a motel. You know, two nights in a motel, you could pick up most of this stuff. And if you do shopping around, you, they got apps. Go check out these camping apps that show you the best prices on places to camp and show you dispersed camping. You can go out there, uh, throw down in the woods, you're by yourself. Of course, there is no shower, but uh, it's free. It's enjoyable and you don't have people breathing down your neck. I really enjoy it. So this is the setup that I use on a motorcycle when I'm not in my hammock. But if, make it clear, if I have any options whatsoever, I am in a hammock. So uh, just because I, I sleep better than I do in my own bed when I'm in uh, a hammock in this thing here, I will survive uh, and I'll sleep okay. But this is Augie Outdoors. Until next time, don't forget to check out the videos that I've linked on the screen and be on the lookout. I've got another video coming up about the gear I'm taking to Daytona. So you want to check out that video. Well, there's going to be two or three more after this videos of different aspects of Daytona. So keep it up on the lookout. This is the second video in my Daytona series. early in the morning I'll make a cup and it may um, yeah y'all saw that didn't you? I like that one better <laughs>